Hi guys, it's BI Life with Kelly. It's a phenomenal Tuesday and guys, let's get into it. This is um some chit chat, just food for thought. So if you are interested in my hot topics, then keep watching. Um, the title of this video is going to be Girl, You Are in Danger. One face entered. Let me face entered. Let's turn everything off. Speech off. Okay. Let's make sure I'm still good. Speech on. Face entered. Okay. Speech off. So, guys, um, I'm still doing pretty good on my challenge of doing my hair myself, guys. I'm really happy about that. I'm like pleasantly surprised. Um, I didn't go through pain combing my hair out. I'm so thankful and happy about that. Um, that was like the biggest thing of me going to other people was getting help detangling and all of that. So I'm happy that's worked out. It's been a positive experience and I'm just going to keep going forward um, with that. Okay, guys. So um, I am working this month towards my own hair product line so i'm really excited about that guys um and i've been deciding if you want to leave comments um and let me know products that you'd like um or you'd buy regularly or that you do buy regularly um i debated on like shampoo and conditioner because i don't use shampoo so i thought you know what maybe i will come out with my own cleanser like cleansing product um because i don't use shampoo and then um have my cleansing con uh my cleansing uh wash and i don't know what name i'm gonna come up for it and then i'll have my wash out you know rinse out conditioner and then i'll have my deep conditioning product and then have my leave-in product my oil um, have my edge control product, have my um, color. I want to formulate my own uh, rinse since I use those. Um, and I want to come out with my own like protein treatment. Um, you know, all the things that I use in my own hair, my own hot oil treatment, um, my own everyday um, pomade for my hair. Um, so that's the things that I've been focusing on. And so I want to have the products where you could start to finish and then end up straightening, blow drying your own hair. And then I want to have the products from start to finish where you can, um, go curly if you're going to do the wash and go look. So, um, that's what I'm working on guys, um, for the month of January and February. I'm praying that, um, I can launch everything by March um for the spring i would like for it to be a spring preview and um i'm going to utilize ig heavily for it um because what i'm going to do is demo my own hair so you guys will see um from start to finish and so i'll have you know the assistance of a hairstylist and um we'll just do start to finish so you guys will get to see what my hair started out looking like and then me using the cleansing product, me using the rinse out conditioner, like every single product, you'll get to see it. Um, and then, you know, have the links available to order um, the product. So I'm really excited about that, guys. Um, I'm, I'm more so excited about it, honestly, because I'll finally have a product that I 100% like, like, like this really works for me. And because I've tried so many things over the years and I've just, I know exactly what it is that works for me. And I, even when I was working um, primarily as a massage therapist, I've developed my own massage oil. Um, and then I developed a scalp treatment oil for people with alopecia um, that's regrowing. You know, they have bald spots or um, balding or thinning of hair um so i created my own product for that and um that's been really great um so yep guys that is what i'm doing i'm considering um partnering or working for a company working with a company to um 
find like a synthetic um, hairline that I like, like some type, of, like if you wanted to wear a wig or if you wanted to do one of these hairband wigs or you wanted to, you know, add additional hair, thicken your hair or you wanted to go for a braided style and you want, you know, like different looks. I, um, I wanted to do that because, um, sometimes you want a quick, beautiful look that's not going to, um, damage your hair and that's not going to require the maintenance of, um, real hair. And so, um, that's what I'm about. I'm about quick, easy, um, protective styling. So that's what, you know, I want my products to reflect and do for people that are attracted to me. And I get so many people like, wow, your hair is so long. How do you do that? And, um, when I tell them like less is more, I really am simple and consistent about what I do. I've been wearing my hair in two braids guys for like three days or something. Um, and so literally just putting oil in there and that's where I get the little body waves from, um, because I just do that same thing. I put the same products in there, wrap it up, put my little, um, hair bonnet on and you know and that's that i've never put any more heat in my hair um so there's just things that i'm consistent about doing and i'm not going to spend a long time styling my hair um i just never been into that for me styling my hair takes three to five minutes and that's the end of it now when it's um curly season then you know it's a little bit more involved because then i gotta kind of section it you know, and then put apply products and then do my twist or do my corn rolls um, so I could get a different kind of look, get that curl pattern popping. But anyway, this year is the year of hair for me. And so you guys, we're going to go on that journey together and, you know, see, you know, about this hair product line and my tutorials. Basically, you guys are going to see how I get it done because if I could... Um, do the filming everything like on my own I would but because I want to get this like get it really where you guys can really just look at the hair you can see the product being applied and you can see it being rinsed out and you can like really see what whatever type hair you think that I have versus what type hair you have so you can know exactly you know or have an idea like exactly what's going to work for you but I will tell you guys that um the products are one part of the relationship, but it's also a culmination of your nutrition. What you drink and what you eat is also going to give you beautiful, healthy, long hair, and it all comes together. So anyway, guys, enough about that. Um, that's a quick announcement. Definitely be looking out for that. I am super excited. If I could come out with it for Valentine's, um, I would love to come out with it by Valentine's and I will really work hard and push for that um, and and just keep putting one foot in front of the other guys. I do want to develop a nail polish that is not that's long wearing and not um, damaging like what I've been going through with the gel polish. So I'm looking at that as well, guys coming out with it is it's just going to be like a classic line of mine where I just have like some staple colors um, and that's that. So guys, I'm, you know, moving and shaking um, this year. And I want you all to remember my goal is to do something different every 30 days. So every 30 days of this year, I should be working on a new plan. Um, and not saying I'm leaving the last plan behind, like the last plan should be moving to the point where it's self-sufficient or just about at that point, like it's already up and going. So I can divert energy to the next plan. So that's what I'm doing, guys. And, um, don't forget to check out and look out for my recap video later on tonight talking about what we discussed on live, tax tips, credit, whatever topic popped up. Um, we're going to jump into subject three on our vision book. So if you're building a vision book with us um, and you're in the process of organizing our vision board together, then, you know, definitely look out for that video. So today you're getting three uploads. You know, I missed you guys for three days. So, so let me get them three uploads. Okay. 
All right, so here's the topic. Girl, you are in danger. Now, switch. We're switching our whole focus and vibe. This video is to help you understand a couple of things that I did not realize. Like, and by the time I realized it, it was just too late. Um, you know, getting married young there's so many disadvantages to it because you don't understand um love truly you really don't understand um accepting a person flaws and all like and what all that entails and you know their family and the difference in the backgrounds and values and how that translates into a relationship and what's acceptable and normal for them, you know, and for, and what that is for you and how, you know, the roles, you know, the leadership, the, you haven't been through enough life experience, um, to really walk into those positions and be able to last the test of time. Right. And so then, you know, you make a child, you go into being a parent, you know, young again. Um, and what happens is you haven't had enough time to get to know yourself. Um, your spouse hasn't had enough time to get to know themselves. And there's like this power struggle. You know, there's this battle going on in the in the midst of, you know, somewhat parent co-parenting or whatever you want to call it. Right. Because you're barely having, a, you know, a marriage. Right. And so you guys, what ends up happening, unfortunately, like to me, is you get a divorce and um, you're so confused by what you just did. Like, mm, what the heck did I just do? You know, what was that? Like, do I ever want to sign up for that again? Like, you spend so much time just trying to wrap your mind around it that, you know, before you know it, your kid is 18. And, um, you know, there's fundamental, you know, aspects of their lives that was skipped over and missed because you skipped over and missed so many fundamentals and aspects of your own life, right? And then, so now let's throw, you know, a monkey wrench in that thing and then I have visual impairment. And so, you know, I'm losing fields of vision, you know, and I'm losing aspects of my independence, you know, over these years as well. So, you know, I'm going from, you know, driving and, you know, going to school and doing things, you know, when I want to, you know, how I want to, to now becoming a person who needs assistance, who needs to learn how to do things alternatively, who needs to accept that, you know, some things might not be options for me anymore, you know, all those types of things, you know, while I'm still pursuing my healing, right? And so, um, someone like me, have having a car accident, and in an instance, you start having these visual challenges, but they're microscopic and they're manageable because it's not like I had perfect vision anyway. I always had wore glasses. So I always found ways to get things done visually anyway. So to have a, a drastic, like a very small, it's like mm, something's different here, but I don't know. I was like, okay, I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on, right? Now, then to get the full diagnosis, like, hey, you know, this is what we found here. And you're like, oh, no, that's wrong. You know, I bind and rebuke that report. That can't be my chart. Like, no. Um, but you're still having this challenge. Like, oh, well, we're just going to give you these drops and that's all we can do. It's like, um, no, you guys can figure out something better than that. You know, so now you're dealing with the devastation of somebody sentencing you to, you know, this new altered way of living. Like, what do you mean? You know, and um. So for me, I'm just thinking like, no way for years, like no way this can't be my reality, regardless that, you know, I'm not going to school anymore, regardless that, you know, I'm working as a maid, I'm working as a grocery stocker, I'm working as an overnight grocery stocker, I'm working as a grocery sacker, um, I'm working um, anything that didn't require vision and I'm making like very little money, you know, intensive, hard manual labor and I'm saying, but period, like each thing that I'm going through, it's really, I'm really not present in it because I'm expecting like any minute, any minute, this is going to be over with. Like I'm so 
focused. I'm so convinced. Like, no, this is not my life. Like, this is not happening. I'm going to wake up. This is going to be over with. I'm going to go back to school and become the doctor that I set out to be. And that's the end of it. Like, have my mind made up. Like, no, I don't care. This is. And so having a child, I'm still like, folk. I'm like, wow, I got a child now. Um, let me figure out something. I need to get some money here. I've got to go back to school for something. I'm not going to be able to do medicine right now, but I speak languages. So, you know what? I'm going to study languages and then, you know, I'm going to go from there. I'm going to bring some money in the house, have some benefits, but this is going to be over with. And then I'm going to go back to school for medicine. And, um, you know, that's that like still thinking like this guys, even though, you know, it's very, you know, this is a very serious visual condition I'm having. Like, you know, I'm using technology to read. I'm using technology to work. You know, I'm using, you know, I'm using, you know, my field of vision, but I'm not, you know, by 2004, I'm not driving anymore, you know? So now, you know, I'm walking, I'm using public transportation, I'm catching taxis, you know, whatever I'm bartering, you know, whatever it is, carpooling, you know, all these creative ways to get things done. And I'm still thinking like any minute, any minute, it's going to be over with, it's going to be over with, like convinced. I'm so convinced that any minute it's going to be over with that I'm not dealing with right now. Like, but you know what, while you're waiting, there's things that need to be facilitated for your daughter. Like someone needs to help her learn how to drive. Mm -hmm. Like someone needs to help her with aspects of her homework and um, help her connecting ideas and thoughts like visual learning. Need, it needs to occur, you know, and I would have like... um tutors with my daughter like where she could work one-on-one -on -one with her teachers and it was more so because most children have one-on-one -on -one time with their parents like I did so it was like a supplemental edu you know the things that you do with your kids and that affirms them you know what I mean they have that space with you and that comfort with you of learning and asking questions or showing you things so you can straighten that out and when they go to school you know and they're learning with their teacher they can you know Oh, I know that because me and mommy went over there and me and daddy, you know, but those moments, some we had some and then we didn't. Right. And so there were just things that because I'm so convinced, I'm like, oh, you know, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to find a doctor and this and that and we're going to be done with this. And so instead of me saying like, OK, that's fine. And whenever it is over with, is that's when it's over with. And right now, I need to build a support system to prepare for life as it is. I need to um, start educating people in my life about what I'm going through and how that's affecting, you know, my right now. And um, that was even difficult because nobody else is visually impaired. And they're kind of looking at me like, you know, an ostrich. You know what I mean? Like, Ooh, what's this ostrich doing in the middle of, you know, the mall? You know, I'm this unique being um, because nobody's known me in that capacity. You know what I mean? I wasn't born with visual impairment and th that's not been the life that we've lived. You know what I mean? So now... um you know, you end up raising a child, okay, you have, you know, your child is very much, you know, adaptive, because that's all you can be when your parent is having, you know, a major life altering condition. Um, That's just, it's you know, things are going on, and it's, it's just becoming more and more apparent, like, ooh, you know, and so, you know, you raise, you raise somebody, you know, you raise up your child, and the thing about it is while you're going through what you're going through, they're going through what they're going through and they need more and more and more of you. Now, I said all that stuff so that you could think about your own life in a multifaceted way. Like I'm telling you a lot about me so you can think a lot about yourself because what ends up happening is we get a flood of challenges in our lives emotionally, um, things we expected, things we didn't. We get blindsided, right? Um, and so what ends up happening is the, is the things that matter the most, they kind of 
you know, get left by the wayside. Like, because we get, boom, here's the $500 electric bill. What the heck is this? Boom. Um, we just lost our job or they just closed our department for two, three, four weeks, whatever. Boom. You know, some the neighbor just flooded the whole, you know, the whole floor. You know, water is pouring down my ceiling. Like, boom. You know, my brother this, my mom that. Like, so much stuff just be hitting you. Boom, 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 boom right? And then you still have this person that's in your life, you know, your child, and they still need what they need every single day. And now, you know, they're, you know, hit, they're getting hit with their booms, you know, it, whatever that is on their level, their peer booms, their social media anxieties, depressions, their failed relationships, whatever decisions they've made that was not good for them, you know, dealing with their future, where they see themselves, what they're going to do, where they expect it to be, you know, versus what it is, what they could, what the parents could or couldn't do, or what they feel comfortable asking for or not, depending on y'all's normal conversation. I mean, do you talk to your child as a child in that place or do you give them life you know do you tell them like hey we're gonna have to buckle down and this and that because this is due that is due you um you need to get a job if you want to get xyz you're gonna have to get a job like do we put them in the position of a parent almost or an um a partner or do they get to be you know children i don't know but when you become a single mother or a single parent, it's not even about a gender, right? When you become a single parent, there's you're taking on multiple roles, right? Um, and the relationship and the interactions that you have with your children can be extremely limited because you need to take care of a whole household by yourself, which becomes the priority, unfortunately. And then your children, you know, you just want to make sure they're safe um, and out of trouble. And that's like the two top things, like spending that quality time and making sure to spend that quality time to be there and to be present in the moment, to stay connected with them, to find out how they're thinking and feeling and what's going on in their lives. What do they want? What do, And then making sure to have activities and that real time, it can get snatched away. And before you know it, they're this angry ticking time bomb because, you know, their years when they the most important developmental years got snatched into, you know, Bill's life and drama, truthfully. Now, the thing I'm saying, girl, you are in danger is this. If you are a woman who has created life, a person who has created life with another person, you need to work like your life depends on it to stay with the other person. And a lot of people be like, no, I'm not about to do that. If somebody's mistreating me, if you know, this is this and that, like, I'm this is not that conversation. This is not the conversation for people who were being abused, they were raped. Um, these per people were um, deceived, you know, being uh, physically harmed, um, all that other stuff like that. This is not the conversation for you. This is the conversation for persons who make children with, you know, they're married, um, long term relationships, you know, children are conceived um, with good people. You know what I mean? These you and this person see eye to eye about more things than not. And you all have created life. You need to work like your life depends on it to stay together. That's the first advice. Um, and to be phenomenal co-parents. And if you got a divorce, you know, family counseling immediately. You all should continue. You all should do counseling for divorced parents to work through your issues because if your issues are not resolved you're not going to be able to effectively connect with the children in family therapy children should have therapy especially depending on their ages if they're in their upper teens early 20s and all that they should have individual therapy where they can express some things um, and then come together as a group and have therapy and the relationship 
is ongoing forever because you all have created this union, um, this child, this person. You all will forever be connected. Your grandchildren, everything. You will always be a part of each other's lives. You will be seeing each other. You all will be in attendance at weddings, at graduations, at whatever the grandchildren want you to come to. They want to see their grandparents and strife is going to divide and it's going to allow for the root of the enemy. And that's what we're not going to have. Okay, you all? Learn from me. Most of the things that I share with you all is because I've gone through them. I've gone through these things. It's not things that I think or that I hope or that I just, you know, feel like. You know, I'm a very factual person. Um, that's probably the biggest problem that I have dealing with others is that most people are opinions, opinion based and I'm extremely factual and research based. And um, most people are jaded on their views because they don't check their resources like where you're getting your information. Um, most times it's twisted, it's scripted, it's edited, it's fictional. There's a lot of information that's passed out to, um, you know, media, to the masses that is fictional information that is received or presented as factual um, just to keep you confused and just to keep you um, in a position to be taken advantage of. But a lot of people are complacent and um, just at a place where, you know, they're just going to keep going on with the majority rule, you know, like, you know, I've never heard that before, you know, so they're not going to put in the effort to have understanding, like, you know what, um, maybe I do need to explore this because I'm not yielding the result. Like my thought processes haven't benefited me or have been a source of instability for me even. The things that I'm thinking and I'm saying, if they are causing you to be at a point of digression um, where you have and struggle a lot with um, being motivated and staying motivated, staying on course, like um, having the energy to, or even having the will, the desire to press on, move forward, like believe in the more, like all these things, it's because the information that you're receiving that you believe to be true, like the news, which was so deep when um, Fox was outed on presenting uh, one of their stories was um, non-factual information. Um, then they came out and said, well, we're not um, media, factual media, we're entertainment, you all. That was so deep. Then you can look that up. That's actually here on YouTube. You can actually look up a video about Fox News um, saying that they are stating that they are a um, entertainment channel, guys. So anyway... It's very important that you stay together, um, that you stay united, and that you have phenomenal, if you're already divorced or what have you, that you have a phenomenal co-parenting relationship. Um, the biggest reason why is because there's aspects of this child that you are not going to understand, nor see, nor how to deal with. Um, and vice versa. And you all are going to need to collaborate and be in agreement on how and what approach to move forward in um, in order to have success with your children. Now, we all understand that children are going to go their own way. They're going to make their own decisions, whatever. And um, that happens a lot. And then, there, then there's a such thing as children that fall in suit and fall in line um, because of your guidance. That's not to say you don't get any pushback. That's not to say you don't have rebellious points. That's not to say that you don't have valleys, you know, through this journey. But what it is to say is that when you have two, where two are agreeing 
and in his name, God is there and God is the ultimate. He's going to guide your children. His Holy Spirit, the angels are going to keep them on the path of righteousness. They're going to do, they're going to keep nudging them and speaking into them and pulling at the spirit of discernment. They're going to keep dragging them up out of the pits of hell because their parents have planted and have convinced Hey, we're, if we don't agree about nothing else, we agree about you. And because they, both sides of themselves is being dealt with consistently, that's when you get the fullness. So it's really dangerous. It's really, really dangerous. I feel like it's dangerous to be a single mom with a son. And no father figure, no mentor. I feel like that is just so wrong on so many levels. And I feel like if you are a mom of a son and you have no father figure, and I'm talking about a consistent male role model that has an ongoing growing relationship with your son where they actually do activities together. They um, te The man teaches him things like how important it is to pay attention to, you know, tire pressure, oil change, like things to look around the house, know how to cut the grass, keep the different things changed as far as like filters and and smoke alarms and make sure y'all are protected, know how to do things. Like I'm talking about a man that gives the mindset of men and, and teaching him healthy relational skills as far as how to love and how to be sensitive as far as considerate of women's emotions and feelings and how to interact how to be a gentleman and how important it is to be selective about the women that he dates and how to be and and, and more than selective but how to get the job done like don't be wasting your life and your energy and your time going from woman to woman and how that is not wise and that is not the man of God's move right so it's just like definitely be cognizant of your reality of course we'll never accept the report of the devil we'll never accept sickness disease we'll never accept um, these, you know, poverty and all these downtrodden states of mind, of condition, right? We're not going to accept them. And as we walk through those valleys, we are going to be caught. It's like this. You walking down the street and you see signs that say, caution, quicksand up ahead. But you need to get to the other side of the quicksand. And the only way you can get there is by going through the quicksand. There's no other way to go. But you keep seeing these signs, caution, caution. You're walking closer and closer and closer. Now, either you're going to be cognizant of, because you can you can think one of two ways. You can think, oh my gosh, I'm I'm never going to get to the other side. I'm, I'm about to drown in this quicksand. Like, you could think that, or you could think, praise God for giving me the answer and the way to get through this quicksand because I got to get to the other side. So hallelujah in advance, Father, for giving me the way, the know-how, bringing me somebody, the angels, showing me a tool, giving me an idea, but I'm keep walking in faith to my blessed, assured, safe um, travel across this quicksand to the other side. So while you're thinking and feeling in that way, you should be actively looking for the thing that's going to get you through the quicksand. Because no matter what, in a few seconds, you're in the quicksand. Boom, you're in the quicksand. There's no need to be in denial like, oh, you know, I don't know what I'm going to be. You know, prepare for it. Deal with it as you're in it. And then move on when that's over with. Let that go and move on into the next level. You know, it's like you got through the quicksand. Now you over here still, oh my God, I don't know why I had to go to the quicksand. I don't know how to do blah, blah, blah. Or you don't make it through the quicksand because you never was cognizant enough to understand. I, I'm really in this quicksand. I was needing to do things to get through this quicksand. So... I'm trying to give you guys things to think about and consider um, concerning, you know, life and dealing and with our children and raising our children um, because they are going to need things from us. 
well into the rest of their lives. And I truly believe from my experiences and from the experiences of so many other um, parents um, and clients that the, the most, the years the children need us the most is like, if you guys just want me to give you a 10 year span, I'm going to say 18 to 28 is when your children need you the most. But I will really take it a step further and say 13 to 23 years old. That's when it's really imperative that your relationship as parents is on point and that your consistency and determination and resilience with your children is just on point. Like, you need to stay together. You really do. It's not wise. Being a single parent is not an option. It's a trick of the devil. Just like being a single woman in her 30s and 40s is the trick of the devil. It's not an option. It's not wise. All of this, um, you know, ideas and celebration of, you know, hot girl summer and doing your own thing is not wise. Um, it's not ideal. A hot girl summer is being married and being at the beach with a hot man. That's what a hot girl summer is. You get out of high school and you get to your career, whether that means you're going into education and training, whether that means you're going into entrepreneurial education, um, whether you're going to go into a licensure program, like whatever you're going to do, you come out of high school blazing. You get on that, you self-develop, you get your spouse. Those are the game plans. One, two, three, bam. You should be locked and loaded and married 25, you know, 25 to 35 people are married. They got to be getting married. There's no reason you're in your 30s walking around talking about you living your best life and just enjoying life. No, you're getting ready to get some diseases. You're getting ready to get a whole bunch. And people always think when I say diseases, I'm just strictly talking about STDs and STIs and all that stuff like that. No, I'm talking about mental illness because you create all these soul tides. You got all these yokes going on. I mean, you got so much going on. You know, you got these children. You know, you, you're creating all this disease, financial disease, psychological, emotional disease. Like, you know, disease is not limited to virus. It's not, it's not limited limited to bacteria it's not you all so you know be blessed this is 2022 we're capitalizing on every single minute lost every single bad decision ever made every mistake um hallelujah that we learn and we level up and you know all we can do is be blessed because we are god's champions you know I never heard of a hero or a warrior that didn't go through, you know, everything to be the greatest. You know what I mean? I think about um, fighters and I think about the level of training and dedication, Olympians, the level of training and dedication, like all day. You know what I mean? Like, and all they're doing is working with the best to be better. Like, okay, we're going to do this, you know five mile run this morning go back condition eat um stretch do some meditation come back we're gonna do another 5k run in the afternoon we're gonna come back and weight lift we're gonna come back and um work on our abs our core we're gonna come back and work on our mental agility we're gonna come back and work on our form like they're never done you know the athlete is never done even when they're not working out, they got to be conscious of what they're thinking about, their energy. They got to be conscious of what food they're putting in because food is energy, it's fuel. So it's like they got to be conscious on their nutrition. Like it's so many aspects to being a champion. Okay, you guys. So anyhow, thank you for watching my video, guys. I'm going to see y'all in, you know, a couple of minutes and um, the next video. All right, have a phenomenal Tuesday. Stage on. Face centered. Stop recording video.